There's a seismic shift in the car world, and it's coming from China. BYD, Build Your Dreams, isn't just selling more cars, they're building a massive EV factory in Brazil, their first outside Asia. This move signals that the future of electric mobility is now a global story, not just for North America, Europe, or China. Brazil, with its huge population and car-making legacy, is suddenly at the center of this new chapter. BYD is taking over an old Ford site and transforming it for the electric age, a strategic play years in the making. They're not just assembling cars, they're building an entire ecosystem, including battery materials like lithium and iron phosphate. This is vertical integration on a scale rarely seen, and it's happening far from BYD's home base. For anyone interested in tech, cars, or global change, this is a story to watch. It's a classic case of a new challenger disrupting the old guard. The big question, how will Brazil's established automakers react? What does this mean for car buyers in Latin America? Will this move speed up the region's shift to cleaner transportation or hit unexpected roadblocks? The answers will unfold as BYD's new factory powers up. It's a fascinating development, and we're here to break it all down. The game is changing and Brazil is now in the spotlight. Let's dive in. If you're not deep into EVs, BYD might sound unfamiliar, but in the electric vehicle world, they're a giant. Founded in 1995 as a battery maker, BYD's expertise gave them a huge edge when they entered the car business in 2003. They make their own batteries, including the innovative cobalt-free blade battery, allowing them to build affordable, high-quality EVs at scale. In 2022, BYD stopped making gas cars entirely, focusing on electric and plug-in hybrids. They've overtaken Tesla in global EV sales, proving they can deliver for the mass market. Their lineup ranges from city cars like the Dolphin to premium sedans and SUVs, plus electric buses and trucks. Backed by Warren Buffett, BYD is a vertically integrated tech powerhouse, not just another car company. Now, they're bringing that scale and ambition to Brazil. BYD is ready to make its mark on Latin America. Why Brazil? It's a calculated move. Brazil is Latin America's largest economy and a top global car market, an essential foothold for any company with global ambitions. The government is rolling out incentives, eager to revive manufacturing jobs after Ford's exit and to lead in green tech. Brazil's clean energy grid powered largely by hydroelectricity makes EVs genuinely low carbon here. The country is also a biofuel leader and BYD's plug-in hybrids could bridge the gap for consumers. Crucially, Brazil has lithium reserves, key for EV batteries, so BYD can shorten and strengthen its supply chain. Local production means lower costs, faster delivery, and less exposure to global shipping disruptions. BYD isn't just targeting Brazil as a market, they're making it a hub for their Western Hemisphere operations. It's a long-term play with huge potential. The timing is perfect for both BYD and Brazil. This is more than a factory, it's a strategic beachhead. BYD's new factory in Kamakari, Bahia, is a $600 million investment on a site once owned by Ford. But this isn't just a facelift, it's a transformation for the electric era. The complex will house three factories, one for cars, one for battery materials, and one for electric bus and truck chassis. This integrated approach gives BYD control from raw materials to finished vehicles. The first models off the line will be the BYD Dolphin, Song Plus Hybrid SUV, and Yuan Plus Electric SUV, affordable, practical, and tailored for Brazil. Initial capacity, 150,000 vehicles a year, with room to double. The project will create about 5,000 direct jobs, a huge boost for a region hit hard by Ford's closure. These aren't just assembly jobs, engineers, technicians, and logistics experts will help build Brazil's EV talent pool. The first phase is set to launch between late 2024 and early 2025. BYD is moving fast and the impact will be felt quickly. This is the start of a new era for Brazilian manufacturing. The old combustion engine plant is now a symbol of the electric future. BYD is betting big and betting on Brazil, the world is watching. BYD's arrival is a game-changer for Brazil's economy and industry. The factory means thousands of direct jobs and even more in the supply chain, reviving Bahia's industrial base. More importantly, BYD is bringing advanced EV and battery technology, training a new generation of Brazilian engineers and technicians. This tech transfer will ripple through the local industry, making Brazil a regional leader in electric mobility. 
With local EV production, Brazil can export to neighbors like Argentina and Chile, boosting trade and influence. The competition will force legacy automakers to speed up their own electrification plans, driving innovation and lowering prices. For Brazilian consumers, this means more affordable, locally made EVs, no longer just luxury imports. Cleaner air, more choices, and a modernized auto industry are on the horizon. This is how a market transforms. Brazil is poised to lead Latin America's green revolution. Of course, it's not all smooth driving for BYD in Brazil. Labor unions want job security and fair wages, but BYD's high-tech automated factory needs fewer, more specialized workers. Negotiations are tense and how BYD handles them will set the tone for future investments. Established automakers aren't happy about the incentives BYD is getting and they have deep roots and political clout. Expect fierce competition and maybe even pushback. Brazil's complex tax system, bureaucracy and economic volatility add more hurdles. Building a reliable local supply chain and expanding charging infrastructure will take time. For EVs to succeed, people need to be able to charge them easily, especially outside big cities. BYD faces real challenges, but overcoming them could set a powerful precedent. The stakes are high and the world is watching. The road ahead won't be easy, but the payoff could be huge. BYD's Brazil factory isn't just about one country, it's the gateway to all of Latin America. With over 660 million people, the region is a massive, mostly untapped EV market. Local production slashes prices and tariffs, making EVs accessible for millions across the continent. The Kamakari plant will export cars throughout Mercosur, jump-starting adoption in places like Argentina, Colombia, and Chile. As BYD EVs hit the streets, demand for charging infrastructure will surge, creating a virtuous cycle. BYD is also partnering to build charging networks, helping the ecosystem grow. This isn't just about cars, it's about China's rising influence in Latin America's economy and technology. As countries look to decarbonize, BYD's full suite of green tech makes them an attractive partner. The region's auto market is being reshaped before our eyes. BYD is at the center of this transformation. What's next? First, BYD must launch production smoothly and hit its targets in Brazil. Success here will open the door to expanding their lineup. Think ultra-affordable models like the Seagull or even luxury EVs. The Brazilian factory gives BYD flexibility to adapt to local demand across Latin America. Beyond cars, expect a big push into electric buses and trucks, key for cities battling air pollution. With local chassis production, BYD can win major contracts for public transport their long-term vision become a one-stop shop for green energy, cars, buses, batteries, solar panels, and storage. Imagine charging your BYD car at home with BYD solar panels, backed up by a BYD battery. That's the integrated ecosystem they're building. Latin America is a prime market for this vision. BYD's ambitions go far beyond cars. They want to power the region's green future. The journey is just beginning. BYD's Brazil factory is more than just another plant. It's a turning point for the global auto industry. A Chinese battery giant is now the world's top EV maker, challenging legacy brands on their home turf. For Brazil, the benefits are clear, jobs, technology, and a shot at green leadership. The competition will be fierce, but that's how markets evolve and consumers win. BYD faces real obstacles, labor, bureaucracy, and building out charging networks, but their track record is impressive. The big question, is this the spark that ignites Latin America's EV revolution? BYD's investment could trigger a wave of innovation and adoption across the continent. This is about more than cars. It's about the future of industry, technology, and the race for a cleaner world. One thing's certain, Brazil and Latin America are about to get a lot more electric. The story is just getting started.